We found an extremely rare Mercedes that's been sitting in this barn since I was born in 1995. Now, what makes this car so rare? Well, the owner told me himself that this was a possible auto show car in either New York or Chicago. And this Mercedes is a 1965 220 SEB coupe, which is the last year they hand-built Mercedes. And it's also the lowest production year for this model. He also said it was the most desirable with the options with the black and red interior, the ivory steering wheel, the moonroof, four speed in the floor and the fuel injection. So when you put that all together, it makes it super rare. And the fact that we came across it is unbelievable. Now here's where we need your help. He also has a 40s Nash sitting right next to it and a 1947 Indian. And we decided if you guys want to see us do either of these vehicles or both, leave it in the comments below which one you want to see. And whichever one gets the most upvotes, that's what we'll do next. But before we do any of the detailing while we pull the car out, I want to tell you guys about the sponsor of the video because none of this would have been possible without them. We want to say thank you to the sponsor of this video conflict of nations world war three has started and you need to choose a real country to lead to fight up to 120 other players in real time in games that could take weeks to complete the whole premise is to use many different units to build your army like tanks jets nuclear submarines and then declare war to your neighbors or forge alliances with other players and then choose your own strategy engage in epic battles and take over the world i've been playing this game a lot and my favorite part is that you could play with the same account on both pc and mobile so the action never stops and you can switch between either one with ease. And because of Conflict of War, we were able to do this detail for free, so we have an exclusive gift for you. Go click on the link in the description below to get 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription absolutely for free. But the offer is only available for 30 days, so don't waste any time. All right, I wanna see if the internet knows what this is, cause I don't. He has an idea of what it is, but I'm not too sure. So it says VDO. And it's connected to two lines. I think they, uh, I think that's a catheter bag that they use for the windshield wash fluid. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I, I think you might be right actually. <laughs> you might be, uh, you know you totally are right. Yeah. That is what it is. Looks like this battery has seen some better days. Yeah. It's heavily, this is the most corrosion I think I've ever seen on a battery. It only t turns to the, the other, like, to the, yeah, that's, oh, we, oh, there we go. I wasn't even on it. So we're gonna start by cleaning the wheels, but make sure you guys watch all the way through the video because at the end, we have the owner Brett's reaction and we have him trying to start the car for the first time since it sat. So if you guys wanna see if we could get it running, make sure you watch until the end. And he owns all these vehicles, which hopefully we're gonna be able to do all of them. And he has a YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna leave it linked in the description below. Go check it out. He posts a lot of cool car and engine content. And if you check him out, make sure you say WD sent you. Now we wanted to show you guys this and ask for your opinion. So from sitting for so long, the metal underneath the paint has started to rust and that has caused a lot of damage on the actual car. So do you guys think Brett should leave it the way it is or should he have these parts repaired?
And upon opening the trunk, we found most of the interior, which was a great sign because we were able to take everything out, clean it, and then hopefully piece it all back together. Now for all the carpets, we're going to do the exact same thing. They were pretty frail, so we didn't want to tear them with the pressure washer. So we're going to start with the tornador and try to get as much off them as possible and then put our carpet solution on them. And then we're going to use the softest drill brush, which is the white one with very light pressure. And we're going to use our extractor to extract all of that away. We were also able to find the back door cards, which is awesome because we could clean them and we could put those back in, which is going to make a huge difference at the end.
And this car gave us a good opportunity to show you guys how we clean the back deck lid as well, because we always do. You just don't really see it in our videos. So we started by vacuuming it off and then we cleaned it with some all-purpose cleaner and then we conditioned it at the end. And now for that ivory steering wheel, let's bring her back to life. Now we'll clean all the windows and then it's time to try to reassemble this interior. And what do you know we actually did it i think you guys should like the video just for that if you enjoyed it but now we're going to move on to some chrome polishing because this car had chrome everywhere and check out this 50 50 shot Moving on to the correction with just a simple one-step polish with a DA buffer and a red foam pad, the results on this paint absolutely speak for themselves.
It looks a bit different, oh, right? Oh my goodness. I can't believe it can look like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did the interior turn out? I think that's probably our proudest uh, uh, achievement. Oh my gosh. <laughs> everything back in. <laughs> yeah, I was like piecing a puzzle together, but somehow. Holy smokes. Wow. How long has it been since it looked like this? I've never seen one. Like well, hopefully we can just put some fuel in it and see what she does. Man, if that happens, <laughs> I will be impressed. So it's like mechanically injected? Yes, it's okay. mechanically injected. So gotcha. regular gasoline doesn't have any lubrication in it, like a diesel does. So right. you have to put an additive in like, like a lead substitute or marble mystery fluid. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So almost not quite similar, but similar in the way like a two-stroke engine. Exactly. Yes. Well, you could run a two-stroke oil oh, okay. as a lubricant as well. Oh, fuel pump works. Got to let it prime for about like a minute. Uh, if you guys like that as much as I did, please subscribe to the channel. We hope to bring you much more content like this. If you want this video to reach more people, if you thought it was cool, hit the like button or the thumbs up button, and we hope to see you here next week. Conflict of Nations is a free online PvP strategy game happening in a modern global warfare. Go get your exclusive gift by clicking on the link in the description to get your 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription for free. Thank you to Conflict of Nations for sponsoring this video, and thanks for watching.